Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be continuing the DIY skirt trend but in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to turn a pair of jeans into a mini skirt. So I have these fabulous faux leather brown flares. Now these are amazing but I find this faux leather is just a bit too artificial looking so they're not very thick and they just look a bit cheap when I wear them, especially because it's so much faux leather. So these wouldn't work as a maxi skirt, but look how lovely and stretchy the fabric are. Fabric is, sorry, bad English. <laughs> so it's a really incredible fabric. It just needs to be a different design. So I think as long flares, it just doesn't quite do it justice. But I think as a little mini skirt with like knee high boots in brown and the boots are leather and the bag is leather, it'll just kind of jazz it all up and make it all look a bit fancier. So I thought I'll do a tutorial on how to turn long trousers into a little mini skirt. So let's get to it. So this is what they look like on and I'm worried that on camera they'll probably look really, really nice, but you have to trust me that they just feel quite cheap. Um, and they're just a very thin fabric, so I think for kind of autumn winter I want my faux leathers to just be a little bit thicker. Um, but the overall fit of them isn't bad, they're very high-waisted, almost too high-waisted, but I think perfectly high-waisted for a mini skirt. So I think if I have a skirt this sort of length, you kind of want them to sit around your waist like this. And if I turn them into a skirt, I can also bring them down ever so slightly. They're literally above my belly button by like a centimetre. That's how high-waisted they are. <laughs> so I know we're all about elongating legs at the moment, but maybe a tad too much with these ones. But the length is good. I just think I will wear them a lot more as a skirt. So I think this bit, when we actually turn it into a mini skirt, will look really nice because the bit around my waist is perfect. And it has a really long fly on it, but again, I think that'll work. There's plenty of fabric, they've got stretch to them. So if I kind of make them this length, I think it's a lovely chocolate brown and will look gorgeous with my brown leather boots and a nice handbag. I just, something doesn't click with them as flares and because of their fabric, you'll always hear me coming. Like, it's like wearing a waterproof. It's that sort of waxed, wax coating. So I think turning it into a skirt just makes more sense. But let's go have some fun with them and anything I cut off, I'll keep the fabric because I think I'm gonna try and make a top out of them, but I'll do another video on that because I think that will need to be a pattern. Um, but yes, let's get creating. The first thing you wanna do is lay out the trousers and then find yourself a skirt that you like the length of and just kind of lay it on top. And then you just wanna mark roughly the length you want it. So I love this skirt, but this one I wear in the summer, whereas this skirt I want more for winter. So I'm gonna make it a little bit longer um, than this skirt. And it, you might be thinking that's so much longer, but I want to have fabric to kind of um, play around with to finish off the seams. You can see at the bottom like this. So I'm just gonna kind of do a finished hem. Um, and it also, it's always better to be longer because you can always cut it shorter. Whereas if you want it longer, you can't make it longer if you've already cut it shorter. So now I'm just going to literally slice off the legs where I've put the pin. Um, this is just so I don't have to do unnecessary work um, unpicking the bottom part of the trousers. So we're just gonna slightly slice these off. Because if you want a super long skirt, you can turn trousers into a nice maxi skirt. I did do a tutorial on this, so I'll link that down below in case you want a more maxi cut. So I'm gonna keep the base of these legs just because we can always turn them into a top at a later date. Um, so I'm just gonna match that on this side. Again, just kind of roughly do it because we are gonna obviously make them shorter and do it properly. So I now have a lovely pair of brown leather jorts, which you never know, that might be your style, but we're now gonna work with this. So there's a lot less fabric and they look a lot less scary like this. So the next step is we're gonna unpick this inner seam here right up to the crotch. This, I just use this sort of unpicker tool. Um, if you don't have one of these, nail scissors are also pretty good because they do have a small point to them. But one of these, if you get any kind of basic sewing kit, um, they usually have one in there. So um, they just make your life a lot easier. So I'm just gonna start unpicking the seam like this. So this is tedious work, but you can always do it with Netflix on in the background or something like that. You just kind of want to unpick all the stitches. And on mine, it's a double seam. So it's a little bit more fiddly, but it all undoes quite easily.
can now have something like this, which is starting to resemble a skirt, just with some weird slits in the front and back. Now I was going to unpick the seam a bit closer to the zip, um, but actually on this pair of trousers, it's not causing too much of a problem. So kind of just see how yours are looking. And if this seam here is being a bit troublesome, unstitch it a little bit and then just reposition the pieces of fabric. Um, so in my case, I think I'm going to be able to just continue this seam and make a nice flush front to the skirt. So my goal is to kind of just make it invisible and just continue that seam all the way down to the base and make a nice kind of little pencil skirt. And then the back of it, um, again, I think I'm gonna get away with it. So you can see it here, but because of the fabric type, I think I'm gonna just be able to kind of fold those in and continue the seam that is already kind of the butt seam here. So it'll look like that when I'm finished with it. So now you're gonna need a sewing machine for this next step. I've turned the skirt inside out and I've just put it on its side. So the zip's there and you can see one pocket there and one pocket on the other side. So I'm gonna be doing the two seams down this side to kind of bring the skirt all together. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna do the bottom seams first just to keep it easy on the sewing machine. So to do those, I'm literally just gonna fold over the bottom of this skirt just to make a nice neat edge. So I'm just gonna pin that, give it a running stitch on the sewing machine, and then we'll go and do the side seams. So I'm just kind of rough eyeing this because I think it'll look nice regardless. So I'm just gonna put some pins in. Need more pins. So if you wanna double check the length of your skirt, just try it on and make sure it hits where you want it to hit and then just kind of fold the hem accordingly. So I think for me, it's just gonna look like this, like so. And I'm gonna do this on both sides. <laughs> The first seam is done and I chose to do it in black so it'd be like a nice contrast with the brown leather and I think it looks really kind of sweet, um, very very kind of sleek. Um, I don't think you would ever know that I had done that seam so that's excellent. So I'm now just going to repeat that process on the other side but the goal is to just make sure that I do it the same length. So let's flip it over and I'm just going to make sure everything lines up. And then we're just gonna fold it to match the other side and then just pin it. Like that. I just have to find all my pins. So you should have something like this now. So I'm just gonna run this on the sewing machine and then we can get to the side seams. So you can see they're just the same length as the one I've just sewn. So I'm just gonna repeat it on this side. <laughs> now 
have the bottom seams done all the way round and that looks really nice like that. So now what you want to do is you want to just put it back on its side but inside out and we're just going to work out the seams um, to finish the skirt with no slits. So you just want to kind of make sure everything's lying as it's meant to be lying. Um, so just kind of adjust the seams so that they're happy like that. And we're then just going to pin them so that they continue the stitches already done. Um, so I'll show you what I mean by that. So if we do the front seam first, you can see this is the seam that's already done and it goes really nicely up to the flies. So we just want to make a nice straight line from the bottom to join that lovely seam. So you kind of want to cut off the triangle. So you just want to pin it nicely in like kind of a quite a steep line going down to the base because you don't want to lose too much fabric. So you start down here and you just sew all the way to that seam there. And then you do the same on the back. So you just want to make sure it's all kind of laying flat, which I think it is, but it's always good to double check that it's laying how it should be laying. Otherwise you'll be unpicking and stitching twice like that. So you can see the lovely seam here and we just want to cut off that bit of fabric that goes underneath our crutch when they were trousers. So I'd probably say we'll continue the seam from about here all the way down to the base. So you just want to start by pinning that sort of line to then follow with your sewing machine. Like so, and then one more just to make sure it joins up to the seam. Like that. So you can see my pins just make a dotted line like this and like this. So I'm going to stitch these now and then you should have a skirt. lovely pencil skirt like this where you would never even know it was a pair of trousers beforehand so you can see here this is the seam that was already there and then this is the seam that I've added so you shouldn't be able to tell where one seam finishes and one seam begins and I think we've managed to achieve that and even the bottom seam looks fabulous so I'm super happy with how this has turned out let's try it on this is the finished product and I am so happy with how it's turned out like the length is perfect like this is the kind of dream length skirt that I always go for um, but it's quite hard to find it in shops because I'm always battling is it too short is it too long because I am a little bit on the curvy side so sometimes I need like that custom length just because once my body's in it it does take up kind of more skirt than probably originally planned but I love how this has turned out I think it looks like it was always meant to be a skirt and I think it also looks higher quality now than it did as trousers. So I think the thing with faux leather, especially this kind of thin faux leather, is it can look a little bit cheap if it's like huge quantities of it, but kind of as like nice skirts or maybe even a top, it can be made to look, you know, less cheap, if that makes sense. I think as the trousers, the tricky thing was is when I walked, they just made like that rustling sound and it just sounded so like thin and cheap and I couldn't stand it. Whereas as a skirt, I think, this looks really lovely actually um, and the colour of it is beautiful and I love that it still has the belt buckle loops that the trousers had. So I can literally wear a belt with my outfits and for example with a top like this, this could look like a dress, you know, with the right belt it could look really cute. I'm going to try it with a belt. I may have gone for a too chunky belt but the point is that the trousers, because they trousers always have belt loops, it means that skirts can now have them because I find a lot of skirts don't actually have belt loops. They kind of just expect all skirts to fit our waists, whereas trousers are adjustable. So let's try it with this one. Ta-da! So it actually, it kind, it definitely adds like another dimension to it. But I'm so happy with how this has turned out. Like I think I will wear this quite a lot. And so if you have any trousers lying around that you know you're just not wearing or they're not the right fabric for trousers turn them into a skirt. I think you'd be quite surprised with what you can make from them. And I mean, just look how well this has worked.
I absolutely love it. And if you're wondering about different length skirts, I did do a tutorial on how to turn a pair of jeans into a full length maxi skirt. Um, so I'll link that down below so you guys can check that out if you would like to. And that worked really well as well. So, so far this DIY has only been bringing positive results. So I do really recommend giving it a go. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. As usual, I'll link my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.